Good morning, everyone. Professor Dr. T. Kumari Karbaman, the National President of English Language Teachers Association and also the Vice Chancellor of Martin Luther Christian University, Ceylon. Respected uh, A.K. Pansari Ji, the Chancellor of Royal Global University. Professor Y.S.R. Murthy, the Vice Chancellor of Assam Royal Global University. Sravan Kumar, National Vice President of LTAI. Dr. M. S. Javier Pradeep Singh, National Secretary of LTAI. Dr. Devabrat Khanikar, Principal of Sunapur College. Professor Dr. Rabindra Kumar Bhaimula, Director, EFL University, Ceylon. Naresh Kumar, Assistant Commissioner of Kendriya Vidyalaya Shankathan. And Nijara Hajarika of Department of English, Sunapur. Other dignitaries, my dear teachers and students, uh, are the delegates of LTAI from different parts. Uh, first of all, I appreciate LTAI for holding this conference here at Guwahati. Thank you for choosing Guwahati and thank you for choosing Royal Global University. You have very good facilities and infrastructure here for holding these kind of events. Um, at this moment, just I came to know yesterday evening about, I read about LTI and I'm recalling late Padma Sri S. Natarajan, the noted educationist, and who founded the English Teachers, Teachers Association of India in 1969. And I'm indeed very, I appreciate uh, this kind of forum of the teachers of English language. We had a colonial period, the memory, the history of colonial period, where after we inherited English language as a second language of the country. And today English is, uh, it is a world language. It is the lingua franca of the globe. There are other languages also serving the humanity as lingua franca, but English, I think it tops the list. Uh, it is now official language or language of administration, language of education, medium of education in about 100 countries in the world. The non-native speakers or users of English language, we have already surpassed the number of native English speakers. As a human being, definitely we belong to different tribes, races, caste, communities, religion, etc. But we need a common language. We need a lingua franca. That was the necessity for which English has emerged as a world language. I think we have around, have we touched 8 billion, 8 billion mark of the human population? I think we are somewhere around 8 billion. And I think around 20% are users of the English language and another 20% who use the English language as their second language. So there are many countries now where English is first language, non-native, and there are countries where English is used as the second language of the country. So learning English, teaching English, education in English are of paramount importance. And particularly in education, English is very important. And teaching English and learning a language, our neuroscience has recently, it has over the years uh, developed. And from neuroscience we have learned, but we are learning that language learning, it has something, it, has, it is linked to the development of the brain. We need to learn many languages, and when we learn a foreign language, 
we say it is very difficult. But the native speakers of that language, they find it very easy. And when it comes to my or our own mother tongue, we find it very easy and find a foreign language very difficult. The reason being development of our brain, our brain's cognitive ability of learning a new language. Neuroscience has said, neuroscience has proved that any human being can best learn a new language or many languages during their childhood. The best period of a person's life when a child can learn a new language or languages, it is the best period is up to the age of eight years. Don't be surprised. And neuroscience has also said a child can learn as many languages as taught. Sometimes when we come discuss three language policy, four language policy, that burdening the students of learning four languages in the primary education level or upper primary education level, it is unjust. But neuroscience says, no, it is not, it is the just. It is the age when languages which are essential, which are the student or the person is going to be learning or going to be used in his life, that should be taught best before the age of eight years. Or if that is not possible, you are allowed the student's cognitive ability, cognitive continues to develop up to the age of 14 years. So our school, this curriculum, our this uh, curriculum framework, it should be designed teaching languages up to the age of 14 years. Language is a tool, language is a skill. And it is the medium in which the, the, the students, we, the teachers teach and students learn. And that should be completed by the age of 14 years. Now, we have all seen that multilingualism is the order. One language for any person, knowledge of one language is not sufficient to live a good life in this 21st century. Now, 21st century people are talking about 21st century skills, which are essential and First, we talk about creative thinking, we talk about critical thinking, then we talk about communication. Now, how to communicate? For communication, we need a language. Not one language, but many languages. So multilingualism is of utmost importance for the 21st century of communication of collaboration, then we all, everyone, we have mobile phone. It is a mobile phone based or app based society that has emerged. We cannot think of spending even an hour without the mobile, mobile phone in hand. Digitization, it is the order. It is the 21st century. It is a requirement for everyone to have a digital device. I do not, uh, it should not be called, no longer be called as phone alone. It is a digital device, which is my computer, which is my calculator, which is my phone, which is my uh, recorder, which is my camera, audio, but still, and for video, which is my book, which is my notepad, everything. It is a digital device. So without a digital device, what is, what is the, without that digital device, life is very difficult. And what is the main language in this digital device? For countries like India, we may be native speaker of Tamil, Telugu, 
SMEs, Bengali, Uriya, Marathi, whatever. But for digital transaction, English is the main language. So teaching English, learning English, it has a paramount importance. Then India is a very diverse country. People from Assam, they seek employment in Maharashtra. They need to learn Marathi. But at the same time, their customers come from all customers or clients. They come from all over the country, and they speak different languages. So we need a common language, the lingua franca, English. So knowledge of English, it enhances employability. The employer seeks that apart from his other abilities, he should be able to speak in or use the English, the Hindi, other languages, how many languages he can speak, read, or write. That is also the employer seeks. I request English Language Teachers Association Please share your experiences. Document their, your experiences. It should not be an association of for looking after the welfare or, or the grievances of the teachers or the teaching methodologies. There should be resources how best the language, which is a tool, which is a skill, this can be taught to our students to enhance their employability, to enhance their skill, to enhance their learning skill. That will immensely help the planners, the people in the administration, the people who devise the curriculum for the students, uh, the framework of the curriculum, so that we can teach, we can, in a, in, the, in a multilingual society, in this age of multilingualism, we can empower our students in a better, in a better way. Some people say oh, we, we are Anglophile, we love English language, English is so powerful. Some people say English is so difficult. Some people say this language is, my mother tongue is so beautiful. All languages are beautiful. Languages have developed over the ages. It has a long evolutionary process. In language learning, every word has its history. Every word has its origin. So when we are in a position that we have to learn English, we must learn the history of English. H history of not the language alone, but history of every word. Its connection with the Latin language, its connection with the French language, its connection with the Greek language, the word called the science or discipline called etymology of every language, it is of paramount importance. Yes, he has an appointment at this poor secretary. So, we should not learn simply, or we should not teach simply the word meaning style. In Hindi, we call word sabda is Brahma. Word is, we call word as Brahma. Brahma means knowledge. It is not the simple, simple word meaning. It has a history associated with it. The history of development, history of that word, the origin of that word, that etymology of any language, etymology of any language, is important, and without etymology, without understanding the etymological meaning, we cannot learn 
habda or word as brahma or as true knowledge one once we have the grasp of the brahma of a word the history the origin of the word it it then only we get empowered by that language i think that empowerment teacher should focus on so this was my second that first my my first request to altai to suggest to the government suggest to the administration in devise how to teach them on methodology on development of curriculum second is that language teaching should always be associated with teaching of the history of evolution of that language the etymology of every word thirdly india is a multilingual country we are non native speakers and while teaching english there is always a debate some teachers they take the help of the native language to teach the foreign language others they debate that english should be taught in english alone english should not be taught by the help of another language now english there are so many variations american english british british english now we have the african english we have uh, indian english varieties of english has emerged because that means the other languages have influenced the indian languages has greatly influenced in developing the indian english variety and this is a form of english language there is nothing wrong about it english people or indian people use the english language is this way while reading the different literature sometimes i i read literatures from across the world i find the Af african writers their style in a different the americans their styles are different the europeans their styles are different different the middle east people their styles are different and i enjoy it within india we have different forms of hindi languages in assam we have different forms of assamese language the people of upper assam the assamese style is quite different from that of the lower assam assamese is equally used in arunachal and nagaland the nagamese is nothing but a variation variation of assamese language assamese language which is their lingua franca so we have variation of our language there is nothing wrong about it and other languages over the ages have always been influencing english language and we indian language we have also influence not only to contribution of words but also it uses its style and there is nothing wrong about it but at the same time if we are remain connected to the root connected to the origin the history the phrases the idioms those were originally used by native people that will further enrich our language i request uh devabrata khanikar of principal sonapur college to take the leadership to take the leadership of organizing the english language teachers after i became education minister i just wanted to know from my board what is the subject in which maximum number of students fail i my expectation was it would be english or it would be mathematics or it would be general science but to my utter surprise i found that maximum number of students in assam they fail in board examination in one subject that is assamese language the mother tongue this is not english it is not maths it is the mother tongue 
And why they fail in mother tongue? Is it because of complacence? It is because of confidence that we already know it. Mother has taught us. There is nothing to learn in the school about this language. I have constituted a committee. That committee will come out. But there's other subjects that followed Assamese language in, the, in terms of the number of students failing in that subject. English, mathematics, science. So we have started teacher training program in general science, general mathematics. And now, in this year, we will start teacher training program in English language and MIL subjects. We are going to have a big recruitment of teachers. Around 20,000 teachers will be recruited. Once we complete the recruitment process, the training program will start. I request Dr. Devabrat Khanikar and other members of English Language Teacher Association of India in Assam to develop a program for teacher faculty development, teacher training both for schools and also for higher educational institutions and submit it to me. We'll examine it and we'll, in collaboration with LTI, so that we can launch a continuous teacher training program on English language teaching. <laughs> and that is my request and at the same time my commitment that I will cooperate with LTI. With these words, I thank you once again and uh, you have uh, sessions uh, after this, and I wish that to be successful, meaningful, meaningful, and I hope very important issues will come out. Those issues, those uh, points which come out of your deliberation and you think they are relevant to the administration, relevant to the ministry, please do submit those deliberations to me to follow up Thank you very much. Have a good day.